There's no one else in the game like Noel, who can not only heal your team, but also protect them from danger. The only question you need to ask yourself, are you ready to build the ultimate maid? There's not much complexity when it comes to Noelle. Her playstyle is very easy to get used to and you will mainly switch over to her to activate both her elemental skill and burst at the same time in order to maximize your damage and healing. It's also important to note that her healing isn't guaranteed and instead increases the likelihood with each talent level up. And you will also notice that her elemental skill has a pretty long cooldown, so timing is of the essence if you want to keep your team alive and healthy. Luckily, her passive talent lets you reduce her shield cooldown after every 4 attacks, making it somewhat faster to regenerate especially if you switch over to her and activate the shield immediately. But one of the most important things you need to understand about Noelle is her elemental skill. She is only one of the few characters in the game which won't generate any energy particles after activating it, making her energy regeneration somewhat tricky. And it's also worth mentioning you can only heal with Noelle while Breastplate is active. And what truly makes her shine is her burst, since she will slowly but surely regenerate the health of your team and at the same time dish out some serious geo damage as well as produce some crystals on the ground for more shields to activate. So even after considering some of these challenges, she is still an absolute powerhouse when it comes to healing and reliable geo damage. And there is no better way to prove this than with the right equipment. When it comes to weapons, there's no easier answer than White Blind from the Blacksmith. Because her healing and burst damage scales with defense, she can get a pretty big boost just from the passive, not to mention the insane amount of defense she'll get from her weapon's substat as well. But if you're just starting out, the Debate Club or White Iron Greatsword are also excellent choices. Just make sure not to raise her level past 50 and upgrade into higher rarity weapon. Moving over to gacha weapons, the only Claymore that stands out would be the Sacrificial Greatsword and that's only if you have have trouble generating energy for her burst and if you feel like you need more healing from her skill. Even at refinement rank 1, the weapon gives a decent 40% chance to reset her skill after damaging an enemy with it, so if you activate her breastplate surrounded by enemies, there's a very high chance you'll reset it and can use it again. And obviously, if you can get your hands on any of the 5 star claymores, then they will prove to be excellent choices, especially Skyward Pride because of its energy recharge substat. Now looking at the artifacts, there's a lot of exciting choices to make. Quick the quickest way to build her would be a 2 piece set from the Defender's Will which increases her base defense by 30% and any of the 2 piece sets that provide energy recharge. Increasing your base defense is going to be a major boost to her entire skill kit and improving her energy recharge only means you can get her burst to activate sooner. But if you're looking for a long term investment then there are a couple of excellent Geo Artifact sets. The first one is Archaic Petra which already provides a decent 15% Geo damage bonus but the real value comes from the 4 piece set and that's because, as of making this video, the description of this bonus is translated incorrectly and instead you get 35% damage bonus based on the crystals element you picked up. This is one of the two major ways you can boost your main damage dealer with artifacts, the other one being Verdescent Venerator set. And with this set alone, Noelle's value becomes insanely good because not only can she heal and deal decent damage too, but the crystals she leaves for the teammates will potentially give them big boost in damage. Now the second artifact set, Retracing Bolide is only a good choice if you can keep the shield active since these set bonuses are non-existent if you don't have one. Although keep in mind this set is recommended to be pursued if you have the max constellation Noel and you wish to build her as your main damage dealer. Finally, the last thing to consider would be the artifact stats. For substats, always aim for defense percentage, energy recharge and for the main stats, the easiest choice would be to just go for defense main stat on each of the three artifacts but if you feel like her burst activates quite often, you can obtain geo damage bonus for her goblet instead. And if you're building her as your main damage dealer, then make sure to go for the highest value stats like attack percentage, crit rating and crit damage. All in all, the primary recommendation would be to capitalize on the defense so that when you switch over to her, you can activate both her skill and burst and use them to their fullest advantage. And that's because building her as a support character is going to be less expensive and will provide huge value for the whole team, especially if you pursue the archaic Petra set, but if you have her at final constellation, you could also consider to turning her into powerful damage dealer. Any team will be happy to have Noelle because of her Geo Elements defensive nature. And it's easy to prove this since without good support characters, some of the last stages of each domain are especially challenging to complete, so bringing Noelle for shields and healing can prove to be one of the biggest and valuable assets to the team. And when you're in the Spiral Abyss, it's almost mandatory to run two healers, so Noelle can easily fit in into either of the teams, especially if there will be enemies with Geo Shields, which she can break with her Claymore. And if you want to make your max constellation Noelle into your main 
main damage dealer, you can add more geo characters into the team, which will generate geo energy particles that will provide bigger energy because of the matching element, which in return lets you reactivate Noel's burst almost each time it ends. There's only few characters in the game like Noel who can provide decent damage and great healing as well as synergize with all the elements for further shield generation. And what makes her very attractive for free to play players is that she can perform both the roles of healer and support and the powerful Archaic Petra artifact set can give your teammates a huge damage boost. But there are few drawbacks with Noel, mainly her elemental skill won't provide any energy which puts her in a weird spot and requires to increase her energy recharge and because she needs specific artifacts they will be mediocre when transferred to other teammates, especially if you have limited resources and want to share the artifacts between few characters when testing them out. Still, the amount of value she can provide is huge, since no one can currently heal, damage and even create shields for the team, making her one of the easiest characters to invest into. Enjoyed the video? You can support the channel by subscribing and hitting the notification bell, as well as gently pressing the like button. Also, make sure to check out plenty more of our other character guides, as well as follow us on Twitter for more up-to-date Genshin Impact information. Thank you for watching us.